All right, so we're gonna, today we're going to talk about the unit circle. Um, and so being a unit circle, we know that the radius of this scenario is 1. So every point on the circle has a radius of 1. And so I know all these coordinate points because they are on the end points. And 0, negative 1. And so the coolest thing about a unit circle is what happens is if I take any kind of an arm of the triangle here, and I come along and draw a triangle straight down so that this is the point x, y. And if I do it in such a way so that I have a right angle, that means just by basis of how the coordinate system works, I go over x, I go over x, and then I go up y. So this is the point x, comma, y. All right, so that's how the Cartesian system works. I go over and I go up and it's perpendicular as such. So that distance is whatever x is. So if I call this angle theta, and I recognize that this is a length one, if I remember that sine is equal to, sine of theta is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And because I've made it a unit circle, it is one. And so y is equal to sine theta. Okay, so this is the sine of theta. Similarly so, when I come down here, this distance here is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. That is the cosine of theta, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so this is equal to the cosine of theta. And so I know Every point on the unit circle can be defined as cosine theta, comma, sine theta, because it's a unit circle. And this is why the height is sine, and the adjacent, the x value, is cosine. And the one that's missing is tangent. And so tangent, we all know tangent is the opposite side, which is y over the adjacent side, which is x. OK, it's y over x. Or y, I already know, is sine theta. And x, I already know, is cosine theta. And so I know that tangent is always sine theta or cosine theta. And I remember when I was at, in high school, I couldn't remember who was sine or cosine, what it was. I just remembered back. In Canada, there was the TSE. It's called the TSX now, but the TSE, and it was TSC. It was very close, so TSC was how I remembered it. But whatever you use to remember it will help be helpful. And the other one that is also true is you have to recognize that here we have a right triangle here. And I know that every single right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem is true. So I know if I take A squared, which is cosine theta squared. So that means the same as cosine theta squared. It's a shortcut to put the squared there. Plus, so a squared plus b squared, which is going to be sine squared theta. So this side squared is equal to 1 squared, which is 1. So this is another identity as well. And so here are some scenarios for you, and these two are quite important for us to remember. But this is the formation of the unit circle. The key to the unit circle is that every single point on the circle, no matter where it is, can be expressed as cosine theta, comma, sine theta. Every distance on this triangle, this is cosine and that is sine for this angle. Uh, from our formula booklet, these two identities can be found. This is in our formula booklet. We get the cos squared plus sine squared is 1, the Pythagorean identity, and then we get the tangent is the TSC, tangent is sine over cosine as well. Okay, so now using the unit circle, we're going to determine the following. So I know that it is always cosine theta, sine theta. Uh, note, one of my tricks is this is alphabetical, alphabetical order. X and Y is alphabetical, C and S are alphabetical. 
And so here are my coordinate points, 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and down here I get 0, comma, negative 1. And so if I'm going to find the sine of 90 degrees, well, 90 degrees is here. Sine, I know, is the y value, so sine of 90 is going to be 1. If I go over to cosine 3 pi by 2, now I've switched to radian measure. So now this is in radians here. This is my radian. And if you remember, pi radians is 180. And so pi by 2 radians is going to be 180 over 2, which is 90. So this is 1 pi by 2. That's a pi by 2. This then is going to be 2 pi by 2s, which is 1 pi. And so then this one here is 3 pi by 2s. And so 3 pi by 2 is the same as 270. The cosine, my cosine is the x value. And so the x here is 0. And so cosine 3 pi by 2 is 0. Moving now to tangent of 90 degrees back to degrees. And so in this class we have to be bilingual. We have both degrees and we have radians and we have to be able to go back and forth. And so 90 degrees is here. I remember that tangent theta is s over cosine. So if I'm going to do tangent 90 I take the sine which is the 1 divided by cosine which is 0. So that is undefined. Okay, not zero, not no solution, but undefined. And finally, shifting back to radians one last time, pi is here. And so it's going to be sine, which is zero over cosine, which is negative one. Zero over negative one is zero. And so we can use this, we can use these coordinates quite easily find some of our values for the trig function using the unit circle without any kind of technology.